Um, I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> I had no idea this was a thing. Uh, I got a dragon claw. Um, uh, I just got a dragon claw from a geode. Good God, I almost missed it. Um, this is 99 mining. So I don't sound super excited. It's mostly because I am, uh, let's just put it into perspective. About, oh, one tenth of the way done with all the mining I need to do for 99 smithing. So I'm not exactly, yes, I'm done. Uh, but you know, it is nice to have this. Anyways, I'm going to go and I'm not even going to fuck around. I'm just going to go get the, the cape. So give me one second. We'll get the cape and I'll go back to mining. It's in Falador. There it is. One second. Okay. So if I talk to this dude, he should sell me, can I buy a skill cape of mining from you? I think I have the money right here. So boom. And here we go. We get the skill cape of mining. Now the thing about this cape that's actually really cool is the bonus, um, but we'll go over that in a second. For now, let's go and look at the cape. This is actually pretty nice. Oh, let me go to the light. And, more, more light. And, and I like it. I actually, I dig it. That's actually pretty cool. Let's put the hood on because this looks so much better. Uh, and we have a whip it. Boom. There you go. So the main thing about this cape that's actually really good, I got it because I have more mining. Is that I have a five percent chance to get double a five percent double ore chance on all core rocks and whatever you roll to get more ore from a core uh, core coal succeed uh, from a core ore succeeds you get bonus XP or whatever the bonus XP is whatever the main thing is I now have a five percent chance on all core rocks uh, or an extra five percent something like that to get double ores which is really nice. Okay, so I decided to do something I should have done a long time ago, but I don't really care. Anyways, I'm going to make the magic uh, golem outfit because why not? So I believe if I use combine here, it'll, yeah, combine everything. I'm just going to do this real quick to make the magic golem outfit like this. Boom. And what's funny is apparently there's a bug in RuneScape. This is so dumb. Where if I couldn't see the outfit on here. So I actually had to log out and go into mobile. Yes, mobile. And in mobile, I could make it. No idea why this is a thing, but it is. So, okay, this took, honestly, it took a while, but not nearly as long as I thought it would. But this is halfway done with all of the dark anima I need. If we open up our metal bank here, we will see I have 2,031. I did actually get a daily smithing task, so that was good. So that gave me a little bit extra chunk of XP, so I need to say less. But that's half of the dark anima. I'm now going to actually start working on the light anima. Okay, so the reason why I'm only doing 2,000 at first and not going for the full 4,000 is mostly because, and I think I might have mentioned it before, but I don't think I kept the clip in. So I'm going to go over now. So the reason why is mostly because of just the benefits you get from smithing. I learned this a little bit the hard way when I was leveling my smithing up to 90. I wasn't really thinking about it, but you don't actually want to mine all the materials to get your smithing up to like level 99 or not, like to get through a tier. You don't want to do it all at once, at least not as an Iron Man, because when you do that, you end up missing out on a whole lot of benefits that you could take advantage of especially later down the road one of the more common things is just smelting stuff faster chance at double you know you get chance at double um you know double bars and stuff at sometimes not always but mostly just smithing stuff faster also completely not random but something that i always find funny and it's kind of an enjoyable part of the mining and smithing aspect of runescape 3 i actually find acquiring the ores easier than actually leveling up my smithing. I'll be completely honest. I think mining the ores is just, to me, is a lot better and more enjoyable. That being said, on August 12th, when they come out with the new mining and smithing, they are gonna have a make X, which is gonna be kinda nice. So I just wanna give you guys a couple of small updates on things I've done. The first thing is I decided to use my crystal tool seeds to go and make a crystal hammer and then also made a crystal saw. I know this is something I should have done a long time ago, but I decided to do it just cause why not going for that last stretch of 92 to 99. So I got half the XP to go. So we'll be doing that. Additionally, this is going a lot faster than I thought. I'll be honest. I'm already at 650 in my, in my, smithing thing and i got 50 years so that's 700 so we're at over 700 already uh mined i don't know if it's going faster because i have 99 mining in the full outfit i don't know if it's going faster because maybe this ore is easier i don't know if it's a combination of, th of the two regardless though this feels like it's going much faster than the dark anima so i'm really happy about that 
So I did not feel like hunting out the absolute best perks for the crystal hatchet or crystal uh, hammer, but I did decide to get some. Let me go and just do this real quick. So first things first, I got to augment it. So we now have an augmented crystal hammer. This means it won't, you know, this it won't disassemble on us. You know, it won't turn to dust. We can just use it permanently. Additionally, I got two perks. I have rapid three. This is only one less from the best one, and I did this the, the bad way. I'll show you what I did to get it. It actually didn't take me. It only took me seven tries, which I honestly thought was going to take me a lot more. So what I did was, let me go to, I'll just show you what I did. I did the regular tool gizmo. Yeah, and I used these bad boys because I had a handful of enhancing components. So I just used these bad boys. Terrible idea. Do not recommend it. It's a giant waste of enhancing components, which are super useful but i did it that way anyway so i got rapid three additionally i went and made myself an ancient tool gizmo i made myself an ancient tool gizmo and got myself wise to enlightened enlightened one i only had enough to do really one of these um otherwise i'd have to get more historic components uh so i didn't want to deal with that but i got wise to enlightened one the enlightened one i don't really care about it just increases our tool xp the wise two is nice it is i believe too lower than what the bis is but all wise two does is gives us more XP. So I'm not going to say no to it either way. This is, I, I went half a level without using this. So just using this in general, it's just a nice little XP boost. So, and with this, I have, I'm at the halfway point for all of the, or if you open up the smithing interface here, sorry, I, uh, uh, I need to open up over here. What am I doing? Sorry. I have 2003. I'm missing two. Two hours, whatever, it doesn't matter. 2029 uh, light animica and 2031 dark anim animica. This is about halfway. I still need to go and get myself uh, another 1200 basically rune bars. The one thing I really like when new content comes out or is about to come out is seeing everybody doing the skill that's related to it. So for example, mining and smithing is getting an update in a couple of days, two days from now. Uh, well, I guess one day in game time from now. Uh, it's getting an update, so it'll be 120. It'll go for 120 right, or 110. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to take advantage of this. I'm mining for completely different reasons, though I won't lie. It did inspire me to start working on it. I'm mining more just because it's just a new goal to work on. That being said, it is really nice, though, to see when new content is about to come out, seeing everybody just working on it. It's why I've been seeing so many people doing mining and smithing lately. Um, it's just because a lot of people are trying to get their mining up and they're going to try to get their smithing up. They want to get 110 ahead of time so this way they can immediately make all the new gear and stuff. Personally... I'm going to go do it. I'm going to wait for the content to drop and then I will, I might take advantage of leveling it that way. My mining is obviously going to be levels. I think when I'm done with getting 99 smithing, I'll be like 101. Uh, I should be only 101 mining. I don't think I'll be 102. I should only be 101. And then once I go to get my smithing up higher in the future, it'll definitely go. My, my mining is massive amounts of XP higher than my smithing. So that'll always be the case. No, not much, but I just got 93 and I haven't even made my first burial set. You definitely get a lot of XP doing this, which is nice. I just got an achievement. Uh, it should have been Ethereum. Unlock the ability to smith masterwork armor by upgrading plus five, a full set of Elder Rune armor. Oh, snap. So I can mail now make Elder Rune. That's cool. Or Elder Rune. <laughs> I can now make masterwork. Okay, that's cool. And this is 95 smithing. This is going by a lot faster than I'll, uh, than I imagined, I'll be honest. I did the math and I actually have enough to get myself up to 96, so that's good. I think the me doing the math wrong on how much XP uh, per you know I was actually gonna get from smithing these is worked out in my favor, so that's good. I was able to make, looks like I'm gonna have enough Elder Rune to make six one two three four five six full sets of elder rune which is good because then i can turn all these into um i already forget what it's called now holy shit i can turn all these into burial sets best part about doing burial sets is once you have the full inventory of stuff you can basically just afk baby let's go and like always i nearly missed it but 96 smithing in the bag still have most of this one to do, 70% of this one to do, and then I have another full one to do. So I have about 200, 300 in like 60k, so that'll be good to put me at. And that is the last of the burial sets made. 
I now have, we open up our, uh, our, our forge here, 316 elder rune bars left. Let well, uh, the <laughs> this is the, uh, first tier 90 range armor made. At least I can make one of the, at least I can make the leggings. So that's good. <laughs> at least I have my tier 90 legs sorted if I wanted to. Okay. Just got home and I ate two slices of pizza. I'm going to obviously eat more cause I'm a big fatty, but I got some food in my belly, so I'd at least be coherent enough to be able to make some clips. So I want to go and take advantage of the new mining and smithing rework. You're probably like, oh, you don't have high enough smithing level. I can boost, baby, but I do have high enough mining level, which is the important part. I wouldn't take advantage of it if I wasn't. Now, I'm not going to go crazy. Oh, shit, forgot. No, I'm not going to go crazy and level and get, like, a bunch of stuff. I just don't think that's worth it. Oh, I can make the glorious bars. Nice. Right, anyways, I'm not going to go crazy and get a bunch of stuff, um, if I'll be completely honest. I don't have any intention to do that. Um, I'm not going to go and, like, try to, you know, make all this stuff. Oh, that requires one ton spinning. I'm not going to try to make the full armor. It's only tank armor. I don't really care. I'm not going to try to make the Primal 2H, even though I can boost for it. None of that. What I do want to make, though, is I want to make the pickaxe and get it upgraded. So let me see how many ores I'm going to need, because I do think the pickaxe is going to be worth it. So this is going to be uh, arrogant. Uh, yeah, 100... 100 yeah so we need to get all these so they're all throughout here so we need to get 66 of each i guess let's start with the i guess i'm thinking let's make our way east like let's start southeast here and then just kind of move our way around go like boom bonk 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 and just go around until we get about 66 of each and actually you know what i am going to bring my ore box just so i can see how many ores i have in my ore bay fractite all right, so that was Fractite done. We now have Bathys here. So let's get Bathys, and there should be a Rock Tunity like right away, usually. I, I really need these Rock Tunities to speed this up. Yeah, I just, I didn't notice it. So boom, Rock Tunity, and ooh, and, and a crit. So this is Fractite. Let's get this Bathys. Okay, this should be Bathys done. All right, let's make our way over here. There should be another one here. So we got Fractite, Bathys. This will be Navite, boom. Let's get this Kratos ore. All right, this will be the Kratos ore here in a second. Boom, Kratos ore. Let me check the mini map because I don't actually know where the rest are. Uh, what do we got here? So boom. All right, then over here we got the next one. There's Arrogant, and I already got Kraton again, don't I? Kratonium. Arrogant ore acquired. Get this Katagon. You know what? I'm actually not going to show every ore. I'm just going to go and catch you guys once I'm done. Basically, all they are is they're all around the freaking map. You guys don't need to know. You're just, I'm going to go in a giant circle, and then I'll make the ore box, and then I'll mine the rest. I'll just catch you guys once we make the ore box. Okay, so I have enough ores to make four bars. I need to boost my uh, smitting up, so let's go and do that real quick. Of course, the second I stop recording, it pops. The, the, the literal second I stop recording, it pops. All right, so I'm logging out. We have to have a timer. So let's go and let's do this. We got to make only have enough for three. I thought it, oh, I have enough for five. Oh my God. Holy shit. You make so many per one. What the shit? Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought, oh, oh crap. I thought you only. <laughs> oh my God. You make so many per one. Holy shit. I did not, I did not realize that. Oh my God. Hold on. I thought you only made one. I thought you only made one per, per thing. You make five. Holy shit. Okay, I had to log out because I need to get my bearings for a second. <laughs> okay, let's go and smith. So I want to make the ore box first. That is, or the pickaxe first. The pickaxe, I feel like, is the most important thing. I want to get it base zero. Then once we have that done, we're going to go and make the the um, the um ore box. I'm going to make the ore box as well. I'm going to do that. And I don't want to go too crazy here. But I'm going to go for a little bit. This is going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of hopping. But I'll just catch you guys when I'm done. Because boom, pickaxe created. This went a lot faster than I thought. I'll be completely honest. But the reason why we made the pickaxe first is because it has a penetration of 275. Which is actually 50 higher than the plus 5 elder rune. Uh, I literally have a timer right next to me that I'm tapping. So in case anyone's curious. I give myself about 10 seconds leeway. So I'm only really doing like 50 seconds, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right, so we are now done with a pickaxe up to plus three. We have the primal pickaxe plus three. Looks actually kind of cool. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think the elder rune looks cooler, but it doesn't look bad. Um, we also have our uh, primal ore box, which is nice. Now, 
we want to make a plus four, but we just don't have enough stuff for it. So I'm going to make a plus. Uh, so I'm going to go and mine the ore for it. I need, so 16. So I kind of went a little crazy. And for some reason, I thought it was two ore per bar. I'm not even kidding you. And so I got enough for double the amount I needed. So that is always good. I also only got a 100 boost. So I got to be super careful not to lose this. So I'm going to be a little bit more. Okay, this is the plus five pickaxe baits. We now have a plus five primal pickaxe. Doesn't look any different, I don't think. But now it's plus five, which is just better. We just get five more damage. That's really all it does. We're going to add it to our tool belt. The Elder Rune pickaxe plus five is no longer part of our tool belt. I'm going to actually alk this. I'll be completely honest. I know I might get shit for that, but I'm going to alk it. I mean, why not? I'd rather get the alk money, baby. 600k. Oh, my God. He got the money. Uh, so, yeah, we got that done. Um, now, the main reason I did that, by the way, was because it's going to make mining the last ore I need to get up to 99 last bits of ore I need to get up to 99 smithing that much easier I am going to call the video here and next episode will probably hopefully open up with me getting 99 smithing um we'll see but I do have extra primal bars I'm not going to take advantage of them yet I have 14 extra primal bars no idea what the heck I'm going to do with them